Once you have opened the application, choose the site you wish to view. Enter your username. Enter your password. Your username and password will be provided to you by the Avigilon System Administrator for your organization. Click the Sign In button. Inside of the application, you will see on the left hand side a nav pane. On the right hand side are view panes for cameras. You will see the name of the site you are viewing. This icon represents a virtual folder. Virtual folders can contain cameras and camera views. Let's open the parking lot virtual folder. Click on the arrow to open the folder. Inside you will see there are cameras associated with the parking lot. Likewise, we have cameras associated with courtyard and we have multiple lenses for the multi-sensor camera. To view a camera in the view pane, simply drag and drop. You can do this for multiple cameras or even the same camera. You can X out of any camera or simply replace a camera by dragging and dropping a new camera into its place. If you wish to view more than four cameras at a time, you can change the layout. Click on the Change Layout icon and select the number of divisions you wish to view in the dropdown. This will provide more view panes for cameras. You can create a new view for multiple camera layouts. For example, this layout will choose to view four cameras and in a, another view we can choose to view six cameras with one being larger than the others. Again, simply drag and drop your cameras into position. Once you are finished with the view, you can simply X out. You can always change the format back to the original four. To view a camera full screen, simply double click on the image. To return to your multiple view, double click again. You can also use the expansion icon and the restore icon. Again, double click, maximize, or restore. Inside of the camera view, you will be able to zoom and pan inside of this fixed camera image. Click the pan tool icon, use the mouse wheel to zoom in and to zoom out. When you have zoomed in, you can now move left and right and up and down inside of the image. Again, you can do this with any camera connected to your system. You may have noticed that sometimes the Avigilon cameras appear pixelated or grainy. This is intentional if HDSM technology has been enabled on your system. 
HDSM technology manages the bandwidth and stream of the cameras. It provides the low resolution image when the client software is idle. When you manipulate a camera, the software knows that you need to see more detail and it will switch to the high resolution stream. There, you can see the image is now much sharper. When you are done panning and tilting and zooming inside of the image, click the Select tool. Again, when you're ready to go back to multiple view, double click the screen or click the Restore icon. Depending on the permissions you have inside the Avigilon system, you may be able to view recorded video. You can simply click the Recorded tab, and now you have the recorded streams of the four cameras in your display window. To switch back to Live, simply click Live. You can also do this for individual cameras. You can right-click inside of the camera, Choose Record It, or you can do a replay of 30, 60, or 90 seconds. Once you are inside the Record window, you can use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out of the timeline. You can play, fast forward, and rewind the video. Once you are done, you can right click and go back to live. Inside of a Vigilon ACC and a Vigilon Unity, we have some search features to make reviewing video much easier. Click on the hamburger at the top left, open the task menu, look for search. You can search by appearance identity, events, motion, license plate recognition if enabled, alarms, bookmarks, and thumbnails. I recommend using the thumbnail search. It is the fastest and most efficient way to search video. Click thumbnails. Select the camera you wish to view recorded video. you will notice there is a green overlay on the camera. This can be adjusted and can also be moved around the screen. What we are doing with thumbnail search is telling the software that we want to see a change inside of this box. For example, if we want to know when this car first appeared, Change the size of the box. Move to the location of the screen that you're interested in. Select the date and the time frame. So we're going to select from midnight until the current time. Click search. Now the system will display any changes that it sees in this camera view. So we can now see in this thumbnail there's no vehicle and in this thumbnail we see the vehicle. We have a difference of almost three hours between these two timestamps. So we know the vehicle showed up between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. To drill down further Click the thumbnail prior to the activity. Now we have reduced our search to 24 minutes from 6.30 to 6.54. Again, click the thumbnail prior to the activity and the system will draw down even closer. We can now see that this vehicle showed up in the parking lot 
at 6.40 a.m. on November 7th. Right-click the video, open a new view. Now you can play the video of this vehicle entering the parking slot. Again, you can fast forward and rewind your video. You can also move the cursor along the timeline. And there's our vehicle. You also have the ability to create a bookmark of any video of interest. Right-click on the timeline, click Add Bookmark, give the bookmark a name, You can also select to protect this bookmark data to keep it from being erased or select if the bookmark is private. These options will depend on your permissions inside of the software. Please keep in mind that when you protect bookmark data, you can potentially reduce the storage capability of the recorder with this saved data. Once you have entered the name, and chosen Protect or Private, click OK. This bookmark can now be searched inside of the hamburger or task menu. And this is where all of the bookmarks are saved inside of the system. Again, inside of a Vigilon ACC and a Vigilon Unity, anytime you start a new task, it will give you a new view tab across the top. Once you are done, simply X out. Your system may have saved views inside of a virtual folder. In this case, we have multiple views that have been saved. Simply double click on the view name to change the view. Again, anytime you start a new task in a Vigilon, ACC, a Vigilon Unity, it will create a new tab across the top. Once you are done, simply X out. Your system may also have a map. If there is a map programmed into your system, it will show the location of the cameras at the facility. Simply hover over the icon to get a thumbnail of that particular camera. You can also double click and it will bring the camera up on the screen. You can also drag and drop. You can also choose in the client settings, dark mode or light mode. In the gear icon, go to client settings, click display, and choose between the dark theme and the light theme. Then click OK.
Some Avigilon sites may also have access controlled integrated in with the Avigilon video. In this demonstration, this simulates a camera at an access controlled door with users presenting their badge to a reader. In this pane is the reader activity. This is called verification. This allows the user to view the camera and to verify if the person using the credential is in fact the person programmed into the system. There are also features available inside of the camera view to unlock the door. We have a grant door access icon. Simply click the icon to unlock the door for anyone who's coming inside. This is an intercom camera and again it gives you the ability to unlock the door. We now show that the door granted was successful. As you can see, a Vigilon ACC, a Vigilon Unity, is very intuitive and easy to use. If you do get stuck and need some help, click on the gear icon, select the Help tab, and this will take you to a Vigilon's website and all of the help documentation for the Vigilon Unity video client software. This is searchable and indexed. Signing in, discovering sites, changing your password, navigating software, using the video, and additional support. Thanks for your time and enjoy using the Vigilon Unity of Vigilon ACC client software.